In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with sine, cosine, and tangent. In example A, it says, find the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios of angle A. So this is angle A. And before we get started, we want to remember our sort of formula, which Sokotoa helps us to remember. And remember what this means is that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is always adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is always opposite over adjacent. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing that we want to do is label our three sides, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, from angle A. So from angle A, 12 would be the opposite side. The hypotenuse is always the long side across from the right angle. And then the last side is the adjacent side. And the adjacent side always touches the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse. So in order to do all three of the ratios, we will need to know what the hypotenuse is. So we're going to pause for a second and solve for the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, which we can do because it's a right triangle. So to use the Pythagorean theorem, we would have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared, if this is c. And then we can solve this, 25 plus 144 equals c squared. So 169 equals c squared. So c equals 13. So we know that our last side is 13. And now we can figure out sine, cosine, and tangent. So the sine of angle A, remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 12 and hypotenuse is 13. So sine of angle A is 12 over 13. Cosine of angle A, well cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be five is adjacent and hypotenuse is 13. And finally, tangent of angle A is opposite over adjacent. So that's 12, which is opposite, over 5, which is adjacent. In example B, we're doing something similar. Again, finding the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios for angle B. So here's angle B. And from angle B, again, the first thing we want to do is record our sides. So this is opposite. The 15 is the hypotenuse and the five is the adjacent side. And just like last time, we will need to solve for our opposite side using Pythagorean theorem in order to be able to figure out all three ratios. So in this case, I'm gonna make my missing side be x, and I know that x squared plus five squared must equal 15 squared. So x squared plus 25 must equal 225. And once you minus 25 from both sides, you get x squared must equal 200, which means that x equals 10 root 2, because that's what you get if you square root both sides. The square root of 200 can be simplified to 10 root 2. So our last side over here is 10 root 2. And now we can figure out our three ratios. Sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, that would be 10 root 2 over 15. Cosine is always adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be 5 over 15. And tangent is always opposite over adjacent. So that would be 10 root 2 over 5. Now in each of these cases, we can simplify the fractions slightly, and they can be reduced. So we can do that next. Working backwards, the 10 divided by 5 is 2, so this is just 2 root 2. 5 over 15, if you divide both by 5, you just reduce that to 1 third. And 10 root 2 over 15, you can divide both of those by 5 and get 2 root 2 over 3. 